Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill. We of course have been working on this lilac farm for the last couple of weeks really. And I'm hoping to finish it up today. We're going to switch, I think, over to doing some of the landscaping. That's a creeper that blends right in as they are supposed to do. Uh, the landscaping around the wall, this stuff with the greens and the bushes and the grasses and things. And obviously we've not done it yet. So that's the mission. We finished up the, uh, the texture on the walls all throughout the farm on Thursday. And then Friday was spent doing the Lego uh, UCS tie interceptor which is pretty cool. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. I don't have the VOD up yet, so you'll have to check the VOD on Twitch instead of YouTube, if that's where you like to watch your VODs. But uh, I mean, all the VODs are of course available in the last couple months on, on the Twitch channel here. Distracted by evil. Evil creepers that are threatening to blow up work that I would be... Oh, did he just despawn? I think he just despawned. I'm going to check to make sure there's no more around. It's hard with all these tall plants. This is all so susceptible to creeper explosion. Like this would, it would, it would create a giant hole. It'd be such a problem. I'd rather not deal with that. I think we're all clear. Grandpa Crafter with 500 bits, toot toot, jumping on the hype train. That is on the tail of Jumbo Sale who has subscribed for 41 months and Mind Trip Media gifted a sub and that went to Andy Rez for one month. Mind Trip Media also with 100 bits. Mind Trip Media, that's amazing. Thank you ever so much. Andy Rez, make sure you check your Discord and Twitch accounts. Link those up. You can join the Joel Duggan Discord now that you've got a, a Twitch membership. Uh, that is, of course, a hype train. There's also a shout out for Jumbo Sale Gaming in the chat. We were talking about Jumbo Sale's Lego streams yesterday. Jumbo Sale, I don't think you were in stream chat yesterday. I think we missed you. All right, what do we need for plants? Uh, we probably need the bushes. So we'll keep those. Uh, I don't think we need oak leaves, though. And I'm probably going to take the shaders off. So we'll go... Take some of those. Probably more regular azalea. Definitely need more grass. More moss and moss carpet. Keep the buttons. We could probably get rid of some of the soul soil. Just to lighten the load a little bit. I'll keep those two. I don't need two stacks of tough. Jumping in on the hype train, Cosmic Dancer with 500 bits. Thanks so much. That's amazing. Folks, if you want to participate in the hype train, uh, you have a chance to get an emote from Twitch. And it's 100 bits, which is a dollar. Uh, or a dollar for me, anyway. And Prime Sub, which is free with your Prime subscription that you can assign to any streamer that you want. Or, of course, a Tier 1 sub. I think we're good. So I think we'll just go around the outside and add in the the stuff we want here. I do like the bushes sort of kind of drooping over, so they don't need roots per se. Uh, I do like maybe putting some moss there and then bringing in either that and this. No, probably just the azalea. Then I think to keep it looking different, we could also uh, sink it in here, right?
think that works. And then we can put in grass there. Just little touches like that go a long way. And we'll just have to do that all the way around. Should be a pretty chill afternoon. a little bit much maybe we'll change these back to grass I've also got concrete powder here that should help too oh I should go get um, I should go get uh, azalea saplings for the extra texture What are we doing today, Marcel? We're working on some of the landscaping outside the farm. Just adding that extra little bit of, I guess, realism, depth, history. I like to think about it as like a natural history. So it looks like the wall has been here for long enough for things to kind of grow on it or near it, that sort of thing. We might be able to get away with a darker one here. Sure. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any real deep slate uh, buttons or any kind of material we could like kind of throw around. Maybe I should get a couple of deep slate slabs just in case. Crosshatch, hello, welcome back. That's a level one hype train finished, folks. What a great way to start the stream. Thanks so much. Do, 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 do. We need... Deep slate cobble. I don't think I have any blackstone out here. I think the blackstone buttons are too purple. I don't think they would really suit our needs. Oh, wait a minute. We've got a uh, cobble deep slate. Heads. I don't want to use a lot of those, but one or two of them could look cool. Thinking like here where it's a little bit broken down and could having something like this over here could be cool. A lot of this is just trial and error. I just kind of mess around until I find something that looks good the way that I want it. Go back and forth. Should probably bring a bed with me too. Saves me from walking back every time. So I received an animated emote for that hype train. It's uh, an animated button, I think. Yeah, that's cool. I could do it without the arrow, maybe. I guess it's meant to be like a spam 
I'm not sure what the button is supposed to be. A button? Spam the A button? I don't... Do I have an A button on my... Yeah, the A button on the Xbox is green, though. Yeah, like it's not crazy, just enough. I feel like I've spaced the uh, the grass a little bit too evenly, though. But it's not overly overly deep. We're just kind of messing around with just a little bit of something, so it doesn't feel so so bland. Feels a little bit more broken down. I wonder if this might be better off as a uh, like a slab in the ground. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like it better like that. This feels weird though. Maybe we'll do that instead. Oh, no. It's obviously a cave under here somewhere. I can hear them. Somewhere's around there. Gonna have to go light things up again. Have I ever considered an, uh, adding ad, uh, animated emotes? Um, I mean, sure, just it's a lot of work. And I've, I've not received enough feedback. Like, I think maybe if I had a lot more people as, as subscribers that weren't just gift subs. Um, but I've not really heard, like, my community champing at the bit, you know, constantly asking like, where are the emotes? I subscribed for emotes. I, uh, I luckily, uh, and I'm very happy to, to say this. I feel like a lot of people subscribe to support me rather than just get emotes they can use in other channels. Sometimes grass just doesn't go where you want it to. This might be a good spot for um, a bush. And uh, this is actually a good spot to have like a rooted situation. I wonder... Maybe we can make it bigger. Oh, I already tried that before, didn't I? This is actually going pretty fast.
think that looks all right. I don't really have anything else I could put there. I guess I do have small tough blocks. So maybe that's something I could do. I feel like this could actually use this, this piece up here. Yeah, that's helpful. Maybe I'll just make this a single standalone bush. Oh, do I have... I guess I could just use tough down there. Oh, I wanted to make that just like a regular bush, didn't I? I don't know if I find that distracting, the brown underneath it, or whether it looks good. I think maybe we'll just drop it. Definitely a lot of trial and error. That feels pretty good. Lord Valor, hello, hello. Give any thought to what is after Westville. Yes, we've been talking a fair bit about doing a sci-fi zone. CJ, thank you very much. Um, CJ said that they subscribe to support me, not because they want emotes, which I think is good. Like, I mean, that's, that's why I support creators is generally because, I mean, I guess as a creator, I understand that I am supporting someone to support the the free stuff that they're already doing the stuff that i don't technically have to pay for i feel like um i feel like that gets lost a lot of times you'll see creators or other projects where something like a patreon will have you know support and get like extra content that means a lot of extra work for the creator but i feel like well that it's important to have like bonus content and things like that. Uh, I also think that it sets an expectation across all of the crowdfunding stuff that we do where it's, it becomes harder to convince someone to support something just to support the thing. It's like, well, I'll support your, you know, three hour long streams, but what do I get in return? It's like, well, but the, the idea is that you support the streams, you know, that's, that's the whole shtick. And a lot of people get it, but but some people I think don't. Guess this could probably be more bush than than grass. Oh, not there. Yeah, the what do I get out of this mentality. That's why when I'm pitching to uh, support anything, whether it's a podcast or whether it's a stream, 
the Discord is a great thing because, and, and this goes for anybody that's out there that is a, is a new creator. Uh, and look, by no means am I an expert creator. Uh, I've managed to carve out a living, but it's not like I'm doing gangbusters uh, and I know everything. Um, but I found that Discord is great because a community, while I had to spend a lot of time at first, I feel like my community, uh, which includes the Spawn Chunks community, so when you invite the right people, um, when you yourself are attracting like-minded people, they end up sort of maintaining and governing themselves with the right help from excellent moderators and, and stuff like that. And so you can end up being more hands-off, uh, which is nice, uh, which means it's, it's not a lot of extra time off of your plate, which is good. I think this was too far in the bush. Yeah, it's too far in the bush. Oops. It looks pretty good, I think. So yeah, so uh, to finish that thought, when I am promoting things like crowdfunding on uh, my podcasts, one of the things I like to propose is a line that I stole uh, from Tom Merritt the first time I've heard it. He might have heard it somewhere else. But it's the idea of the value for value. So if you're getting value out of what you've just heard, consider putting some value back in you know, and become a member and support on Patreon or whatever. And I feel like that's just a, such a good model because it just, it puts the, the idea of you just heard something that for t like completely for free. Uh, and if you value what you just heard and you'd like to have more of it come at you, then one of the ways that you can help that happen, you know, is, um, is by supporting. Um, that said, th there's, there should be quite a lot emphasized on the free things that people do, like sharing on Twitter, uh, telling friends about your favorite podcasts and streamers, like that goes a long, long way to help help folks reach the audiences that they need to reach in order to uh, in order to reach that um, I call it critical mass. You know, where essentially, roughly uh, three to five percent. I think of your viewers will support you financially. Um, that's a higher number for me, which I'm very thankful for. It's closer to 10 or 15. Um, but really, it's just a numbers game. You know, like it's the more eyeballs that you can get on your work, then statistically, more people will just support. And I am at a moss. Cosmic Dancer is saying that uh, I really get a lot or appreciate the line. If you're getting some value out of this, consider putting some value back in. It was when I heard you say that I was first convinced to sign up for Patreon for the Spawn Chunks. Oh, really? I didn't know that that line was the, the hook. There you have it, folks. That's how we hooked Cosmic Dancer. And they've been cursing the day ever since. <laughs> Grandpa Crafter fell victim to that perfectly reasonable argument as well. And now they have to live with the choice that they've made. <laughs> Sorry, self-depreciating humor is too easy sometimes. Uh, what am I looking for here? I think I'll turn those into buttons. I haven't really had a chance to use much mossy cobble.
It's nice for a creator to get uh, to participate within the community, says CJ, as opposed to spending the majority of time managing said community. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I feel like it's also as a creator knowing your strengths. Like, if you're a creator that's coming from maybe working full time in HR and you have those skills and it's really easy for you to manage a community, all the power to you. Go for it, right? But if uh, you're like me and like I have those skills, I don't particularly enjoy the like using those on a daily basis. So uh, having lovely folks like Cosmic Sweet Sandy, Mini Packs, Elkhorn, I I won't name everybody because I'll end up forgetting somebody. But um, having those folks in the community makes a huge, huge difference. I'm going to change this into a bush. Yeah, that bricks things up a little bit, softens it. Maybe it'll do this one too. It's such an easy, effective thing to just remove the grass, replace grass with moss, and then add in azalea. It really is quite effective at making things look just a little bit more like interesting. Does Azalea have a long enough top on it that it's not going to appear? Oh, that's just that's just tall enough, or or top, like the, the top of it is just a full slab. That's good to know. I didn't realize that. That actually looks really cool from the side. You know, I you I often use them from top down. Like I don't really look at the sides very often because often when you see the sides, you're looking at it like this, and then that that might not be what you want. Oh, it does it does go well past a full slab. Okay, that's good. Noted. An additional texture to use. Maybe we'll use it down here too. Yeah, like right here. Doink. Just wait, Joel. You'll soon see how I've lived with myself for that decision. <laughs> Cue ominous music. Yeah. I take no responsibilities for the jovial changes that have happened to you since you've joined my community. If you somehow found your life better socializing with like-minded nerds, I lay that decision and sink on your time solely at your feet. <laughs> Enhanced Wild, that's a really cool username. And welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Hope you're having a good Saturday. The Badger 42, welcome to you as well. What do we think? It feels like it's a little mechanical. I want more variety in here, but I'm not exactly sure how. Maybe, gasp, we need to add some sort of wildflowers. I feel like there's something missing. Maybe I could do... Hmm. I wonder if like a tree stump would look good here. Although, there's a tree right there. I don't want to line those up. Maybe here would be an interesting spot to put a tree stump. Let's try that. Like a tree was maybe in the way of the farm or the road and they decided to cut it down. Maybe we just put a full tree there. I don't know. Uh, let's go with that. I already had slabs. What am I not using very much of? We're not using the, the packed mud and the brown concrete powder. Let's 
Wait, what happened to the flower idea? I quickly dismissed it in my head. There's just a lot of flowers already. I just don't want to distract from the lilacs and the pitcher plants. I also couldn't think of a flower that would be subtle. Hey, I have hay fever. Flowers are not my friends. Lord Valor is saying that they got the notification that they've received the purple cape, but I can't copy the code. Anyone else having this issue? Not that I know of. Um, Cosmic prepared a document. I don't know if Cosmic was planning on sharing that document live in chat, um, but we do have some resources available. Uh, I know that in my Discord, in the Minecraft channel... Uh, oh, there you go. You can't, you can't copy-paste it. Lord Valor, you have to, uh, you have to type it out. Unfortunately, that's yeah, that's silly. Um, but in my Minecraft channel, uh, was it CJ? Somebody provided a link directly to uh, the some of the redeems, and it helps you navigate through the very poorly designed Minecraft.net page that uh, that kind of is where you go to get the things oh i brought the wrong kind of stump we'll try it for now just to kind of see if this looks this looks right it would probably be more out in the front maybe Oh, we're missing missing a block there. Let's put tough there. What was the other block that I used underneath those trees? Coarse dirt, I guess. So the only issue here is that it feels um, like it's not sticking out of the ground very much. I wonder if we need to go with something more like that, although that doesn't look like a tree stump anymore. I mean, obviously, if I use the other log that shows the end, it would look better. Maybe if I change this to be a bush and we change it to be one of the darker bushes, 
that helps it stand out a little bit more. Yeah, maybe make this dark as well. It's just, it's so even. That helps. I really dislike it when stuff goes into the wall like that. Lord Valor says, okay, thanks everyone. I received the cape. What a process though. Yeah, they're <laughs> for a company that is as has been around as long as Mojang has been, uh, this 15 days of rewards is really clunky. I've not heard anyone say that was an easy experience. That link was only for the 15th anniversary creeper capes to CJ, the link in my Minecraft channel in the discord. Uh, the rest go into a different spot because logic hashtag sarcasm. Yeah. Yep. I think they kind of dropped the ball there. I don't think there's anything that I'm missing. Maybe vines would be good. And I might want to bring some deep slate. Just in case. That's feeling pretty good, I think, here on the left. The grass and the deep slate wall really has a nice contrast to it. Like how it gets heavier in the corner. This feels a little symmetrical. It might be worth getting rid of that. Yeah. Also going to switch this. Better with that. Oh, I should have used shears. So this I think will look better with a proper log texture. I don't think I need to put it all the way in the ground. Hmm. What do we think? I think that makes a little bit more sense visually. Valdare, 11 months, that's incredible. Coming up on a full year subscribing on the channel. Valdare, thank you ever so much. Really appreciate it. I do like that, but I do need to add in the moss carpet back a little bit here. I think that actually breaks up the, the green quite nicely.
At least folks here ask nicely. Uh, ask Ginger how she got on with Pixis stream on Thursday. I heard that it was not the easiest. You know, I, I think that there's an unfair, uh, we'll call it attitude, I think, that sometimes Minecraft fans take with Minecraft streamers where they think we're supposed to have all the answers. It's like, look, if Mojang didn't set it up very well, then like there's nothing we can do about it as a streamer. I could probably put some more stuff on the ground here too. So things like places where this is maybe fallen down, we could add in a block like that. CJ said you were in Impulse's stream for a bit on Friday, and yikes, the behavior I saw was pretty bad. So I think a lot of that comes from, one, population. Just, just as I said earlier, statistically, you're going to have a number of people that will support you, and statistically, you're going to have a number of trolls that just show up because that's just how trolls work. Um, and that sucks. I mean, that's not ideal, but it's a reality. That's kind of what, what happens. Um... I also think that in really popular YouTuber streams like Impulse, uh, you end up with a much younger audience. I feel like my audience, uh, Pix's audience will skew a little bit younger, but I feel like um, the Hermits have a much younger audience than, than I do in general, anyway. And I'm happy with that. I was speaking with somebody last night and I, I think I said that the average Minecrafter is something like 23 or something. So, the discourse in my channel tends to be along those lines on average. I mean, there's always somebody that comes in that says something silly and gets themselves banned within seconds of being here, but you can't have everything. Uh, I need to try and farm some vines here. I think I can just do it on this. Can you not grow these with bone meal? Okay, maybe I was wrong. One, our drops enabled every 15 to 20 seconds or so. Wow, that's rough. Uh, wouldn't have been Thursday because Thursday there was no drops enabled. Um, that's the other thing too, is that like the way that Minecraft fans tend to jump on top of stuff, you kind of want to run the article the day that drops start, not the day before drops start because then everybody shows up the day of because they read the headline and then they don't read the whole article, right? That's gonna be better there. I also remember having a good response on some of my embankments by adding a little bit of coarse dirt to rough things up a bit here and there. I don't really see a place for it any higher, but I think that's pretty good. Helps helps balance off the brown we have here by having a little bit of dirt there. I did it on the south banks. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it from here. That was the wrong button. Somewhere. I know I did it. There's a lot more grass, which helps. Yeah, you can see there. So, dirt slab, dirt slab, couple dirt slabs. 
it like helps it look a little bit more natural. That looks pretty good from up here. The only thing actually is it looks like there's a little bit too much of a blend. The wall kind of, the border seems to disappear. Maybe I've got too many bushes coming over the edge here. Oh, I forgot about little bush blocks. Yeah, that helps a bit. That that keeps that keeps it solid through there, I think. I like this a lot. That's not too bad if there's like cobbled deep slate nearby because it has the same tones in it. And it's even better if there's a tough block nearby. I keep on saying it whenever I do landscaping. I really wish we had grass that was half as tall. I think that would really help. Maybe what we need there is carpet. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Really like how adding bushes underneath the ground like that give a harder border. As a matter of fact, maybe we'll just move both of these. Maybe we can do two different kinds. Yep, but we'll flip it. Oh yeah, that's great. Good stuff. Obviously this still needs to be textured because we haven't figured out what's happening with the road yet, but I think I'm going to pull the stone in here a little bit farther. Uh, it won't be coarse dirt up the whole way. I'll maybe stop it halfway up. Yeah, sweet. I 
Abu says, I've never understood drops myself. Seems like it's just a gimmick to keep people online as opposed to just providing good content. Um, I feel like drops are a cool way to encourage people to play the game. I don't know. I mean, CJ, I, I see your point about Twitch's model is to sell ads and keep eyeballs on the streams and all that. But I, I think that also, I think I made this point yesterday on the Lego stream is that I started playing No Man's Sky again because whenever No Man's Sky does a release, there's a new drop or drops, usually a whole weekend's worth. And you don't have to be there. Like you can turn your computer on, log into somebody's stream and just walk away and come back and you'll be able to redeem the the drops. You have to be there to click on them before the day is done, like before the calendar day or the time runs out on it. But I picked up like three ships and all kinds of stuff on on Twitch drops on No Man's Sky. And honestly, having cooler stuff in the game that I got for free as Twitch drops, maybe because I didn't really take the game too seriously, but that it pulled me back in the game. Like it's one of the reasons I started playing again. I've since put it down, but it's just for time constraints. Uh, wait for night. We're working on some of the landscaping around the outside of the wall. Actually, you know what? I'm really realizing I was just about to sleep, but it is currently uh, coming up on my first hour. So I think I'll just take a break. Well, I say that and Elkhorn is raided. So I'll have to say hi to everybody first. I guess we'll sleep. Elkhorn. Elkhorn 95. The mighty Elkhorn. A man of many names. Welcome in. What were you up to on stream? The herd is indeed the word. Thanks for all the shoutouts. Folks, if you have not already, go check out Elkhorn on... Sorry, Elkhorn95, that's the full username, on Twitch. They are a moderator in my community. They are a member of my community. Uh, they are super fun and awesome. And they stream from Infinity Cove, more often than not, which is my patron server, which you can check out more information about at joelduggan. Uh, sorry, patreon.com slash joelduggan. Or joelduggan.com slash support. Like just you can find your way there to Patreon. And there's a link that Hunter just put in chat. So what have we been working on today? Someone asked. Uh, this, we've been doing the greenery in the outside bits um and now this this road actually feels pretty good um not textured but it has a nice border to it i think i like this a lot this helps i feel like this looks better coming up the hill like that looks pretty cool, kind of wraps around. Uh, coming down, it's all right, I guess. You're not really looking that way. I guess at this point, you're probably looking at like the dock and other things. My boat keeps on floating away. Is there something in that? No, it's just the... Just a corner of the block. I think squid and fish keep on nudging my boat. Just like that. Uh, Elkhorn said over on Infinity Cove was working on the Watchtower Viewer Redeem getting an integrated into the landscape. Very cool. That's what we've been doing. Landscape integration. That's awesome. So once again, folks, um, you, if you want to go over and check out Elkhorn95 on Twitch and see what they were doing on the Watchtower build that they've got going on, then please do that. Please go follow them. It's free. Why not? Uh, I'm not going to get into doing anything here just yet because I feel like some of this stuff might change with the road. So we're going to stick with What's on the left here? And here's another problem that I have. I don't know if I'm keeping this pond. I feel like I probably should. And I also feel like this needs to go away. 
This was a wagon. There was a wagon here. Maybe we still need to have a wagon? I don't know. So there's not going to be any grass there, obviously. Although, uh, well, that's a slab, so we can't do anything there. I wonder if I could sneak in some grass in here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know about that. Maybe a nice tree by the pond. Yes, this is where I just haven't had enough time to think about what I want here. The only thing I know for sure is that I, I want like a full block all the way in front of this wall. Like I don't want to have any corners there. And so a lot of these need to be moss or bushes or something. I think a little duck pond here would make sense. Yeah, I could see that working. What I would probably do is... I don't think I would put like a little duck house here, but I feel like this area right here would be prime for like a small little shelter. You know, like something really, really basic. We would make it look better but i feel like something there for ducks would make sense We could make it look a little bit more constructed. Evil Shadow, hello, hello, welcome in. I should go look at the other duck pond. I didn't see how deep I made it and just copy that. I say duck pond, just like a little irrigation pond, not necessarily a duck pond on the other side. I don't think it needs to be any deeper than that. We just have to fix the running water problem. 
I think that looks okay. Maybe this side could have more bushes. Something that's nice about doing this is because you can see through the bushes, it makes this feel like less of a steep hill. Softens it up a little bit. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit distracted just because pawns are easy and fun and they have a nice vibe when you're all finished with them. So I think what I'll do now that we've had time to welcome everyone in from that raid, I am going to pop away for that break that I normally take. Usually it's about once an hour. It gives me a chance just to refresh my water. It gives you a chance to do something cool like tell a friend about the stream, like what we were talking about earlier. If you're enjoying yourself, if you'd like to see me do this more often, then the more people we can get to watch just means that I can do it more. So uh, I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Thank you ever so much, GMTDT, for the Prime sub. That's incredible. Appreciate the support. We also had a bunch of gift subs that happened, and I'm trying to figure out who they're from while I try not to die. Axe Two-Face. Find it bizarre we have to kill zombies even though they're already dead. Uh, that gift sub was from Von Morjo. Five of them. Mr. Crink, Rye Guy, Gandrian, Anne Shark 2312, and Jace Gearhart all received gift subs. Thanks so much for that gift sub bomb. I really appreciate it. And if you have received a gift sub, first make sure you thank Von Morjo and then uh, join the Discord. Connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. You can then join the Discord. Hang out with us in between streams. Fun times. Uh, what was I going to do here? I think I really don't know what to put here. I'm really at a loss. Um, as much as I like this idea, I feel like it might be better if we put it up here because it would take up more space. I just have not thought that much about this section. But I wouldn't really consider this part of the... Uh, lilac farm I would consider this part of of this property because the wall is there so maybe we'll leave this as a thought for another day and uh, I'll just continue on with the side here where we know kind of what we want to have going on That looks silly. I do find some of the noises that bees make sound like creeper footsteps. I definitely get caught out by it more often than not. Oh, that's the end of the moss, it looks like. Not sure how bright I want it back here. I feel like this would be more of like a a working area and less kind of bright and green, so I might go change a couple of blocks here. Keep it a little bit less lush. More moss. And this path doesn't have any texture on it either, yeah. Um, did I put the roots back by accident? I did, whoops. Oh, that's better. That's better. Let's put a bit of dirt here. Oh, that's really close to the road, though. 
maybe we can switch this. Whoops, wrong block. That honestly feels a little abrupt. We might want to go back to just using regular grass blocks there. Whoops. Then again, maybe not. It's a slow process, but eventually it just starts to feel a little bit better. I don't want to forget about this, but I'm kind of hung up on making this part here look a little bit better. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I uh, might have already asked this, says Cosmic, but do you have plans for the bees? I uh, Yeah, I do want to make a an apiary, like a bee farm. But I think what that might involve is another house or another plan. So, like, I want this to be a farm. And the idea was that one of these would be abandoned. And I think what I might do is move this build a little bit closer to the bees and have this be some like and maybe have the bees be in this area because like all of this is empty and i feel like this could be redesigned to be an apiary situation which would benefit all farms right like it, it would make sense for like if these farms are all set up and near one another that somebody would say like well hey if i can live on your land then i'll provide bees um but then this i want i think to be an abandoned building so not a full build, like a ruined place, something that's fallen down. And 
maybe we'll have this be just overgrowth because I just I don't want to build another farm like that. You know, I don't want all of this to be farmland. I mean, that looks really cool, but I think when we have a pumpkin patch here and a bee farm here, I think it would be cool to have this. I don't know. I might change my mind. Uh, this might feel this might feel you know um, empty if it's abandoned. We'll see. So one of the things I like about Minecraft and like about what I'm doing in Minecraft is that I don't have everything figured out. There's a number of things that I just fly by the seat of my pants. Like that um, tree stump on the other side of the wall there. Like that's that was just, I had no plans on doing that until the idea popped in my head. And it's like, well, it's Minecraft. You can change it if you don't like it. So like, give it a go. You know, you never, you never know. Here we might be able to get away with some coarse dirt. Yeah, helps it stay a little bit more rugged, I think. All right, let's not forget about this area here. I feel like this should probably have some carpet. Yeah, pretty good. Maybe we can put in some of these little blocks here and there. Pieces of the wall that have come off. I feel like we could probably have a bush here. Probably the best way to balance that out a bit. All right. Whoops.
I think the smaller bush is a little bit better. Maybe we'll just put a fern here. Yeah. Oh, am I out of moss? I'm out of moss. No moss. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, I like how it turned out, too. I am enjoying it. So here is where we can probably do more with bushes to soften up the edges of this stuff. I often do this in the wrong order and I end up redoing things, but I think that's part of the process. I used to do that a lot with drawing. I would redraw a lot of stuff because you'd think you'd want one thing, you'd change your mind and put down another thing. And Yeah. So again, I think I'll leave this to be part of this adjustment, this build, the potato farm. Um, maybe we'll need The odd bit of grass, or maybe it just needs moss carpet. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. It's simple. I'm trying not to get too carried away. Andy Rez, hello. Giving a gifty thanks to MindTrip Media. Oh, very cool. Thanks for saying hi and thanks for giving a shout out to MindTrip Media. I appreciate it. All right, so Duck Pond and this section of the wall will end up being part of the next build. That's fine. I guess I can just dust it with some some grass just so it doesn't look completely bereft of life. As well toss in a couple more of these.
Cool. So I think we can just continue up around the corner now and bring everything around to where we left off a couple streams ago where we did the front, not the front, the west side, west side of the wall. Even just these little bits help out a bit, help out a, making it feel like it's been around a while. Joel does words. Words are hard. Okay, pick up where we left off here. Oh, no. Man. That's okay. That might be better off as a bush. to put there. Maybe this is where we should sink in some moss. Or not moss, azalea. It does darken things up. Like it just it really adds. Even though I know it's probably reading on the screen as like a black, in my brain it kind of goes dark green in some places. I feel like that's pretty good. I might actually want to turn this into a bush, which might mean changing that. Yep, definitely. I think that feels okay. Just too evenly spaced. Sometimes you just have to go with the old school. Another opportunity to use one of these. Maybe not quite so on a harsh angle. I wish that those were in the game in vanilla. I feel like that would be a really cool craftable thing, although then my gosh, I'm not sure how you'd handle the inventory at that point.
Yeah, the mini blocks I think are a great idea. The vanilla tweaks team did a really good job with them. They don't always work very well, but I think that's because they probably stuck to a system of like, if we're going to do it, this is the way that we should do it. And we should keep it consistent throughout the blocks so that um, it's like it's easy for us and people can expect it to look a certain way. But then some of the textures, some of the vanilla textures, they just don't translate very well to being reduced down. But that's not like the vanilla, you know, the vanilla tweaks team's fault. That's just some textures just don't look so great when you bring them down. The thing that's frustrating about landscaping like this is that it really depends a great deal on where the grass is positioned on the Z and the X axis on the block. If it's not in a good spot, it doesn't, you just, I end up removing the grass. Like that. Not so great. I feel like that looks pretty good. Not overly complicated. This is kind of a pain. It's all right. Oh, that's a lot of carpet kind of lined up. Let's go with that instead. Sure. Awesome. Well, that takes care of the the grassy bits around the outside, I think. Yeah, we've got everything all sorted through here. This is all done. I really like that stump. That was a good idea. This is going to be a really pretty little pond, I think, when it's done. It's in just the right spot, you know? Too much fiddling, time to step away. Cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything left on the outside. We'll put some of this inventory away because I'm feeling really bogged down.
dirt, coarse dirt, grass. It is really a game of memory. Player head and cobble blue slate. Where were those? They were in here. Deep slate, cobble deep slate, player head tough. I guess I could have done some tough placement too. We need more rockets. Mosaic dream, that indeed sounds like a rough day. I cannot work when I'm too hot either. Yeah, if you don't have air conditioning or anything like that, it's it can be pretty tricky. We've not reached that here. We're only cracking 12 degrees, 15 degrees on a good day. So it's been pretty nice. This is my kind of temperature. Like I can still walk outside in a, in a t-shirt. Love it. Grandpa Crafter, wow, clean inventory, 300 bits. Thanks very much. That's pretty funny. Uh, so the only thing left on the farmstead is the inside here. We have to do some details in here, like flower pots in the windows and some stuff like that. Uh, some armor stand finagling around in here with maybe putting some bread or something on the counter. Um, again, probably bringing in some, some more of the lilacs and trying to figure that out. A good spot for maybe some mini uh, bushes or like lilac, not lilac, um, flowering azalea saplings in flower pots could look really good in here. That could be a really fun way to um, to decorate. I don't think I'm going to do too much in here other than putting like a flower pot on the windows that need it. Uh, particularly this one. I think the front one is going to get a flower pot. Um, I might hang some things on the walls, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's a lot of work for something that's such a small, small build. Uh, I really like everything else that we've done here. The only thing I'm undecided on as of yet is this archway. Um, I do like it but I don't know if it fits with everything else because we've not got an archway on the front, which is arguably like the more important area. So I'm not, no, I'm not sure. We maybe what we should do is, is instead of the archway, we should copy this lamp and put another one of those, like a matching one down here. I feel like that might be a little bit better. It's a cool, image but it just it feels so clunky it doesn't feel like it lives up to the designs that i've used in other areas around here so we'll leave that there um future plans i'm probably going to do this pumpkin farm next because what that will do is finish up another piece of land that borders these roads uh, because once we finish this, then we can do this green area here and this green area here, and then we can do the road and this will all be checked off. So I really want to add some texture and stuff to the road. I really like this bridge texture and I want to try and bring some of that down here, but I want to make sure that this road doesn't need to shift a little bit, depending on what we do with this farm. I might end up pushing this wall a little bit farther out. Depends on how big we want the pumpkin farm to be. So there's that. And I think what else is we've got? Yeah, we've got this green space here, which is wild. I'm not sure what to do there. Obviously, we've got the um, the pond. Oh, I don't know how much I've talked about this on stream. I know I've hinted at it, but uh, I'm really not happy with how big this house is. This This farm is just absolutely massive. I think at most it needs to stop here. Like that, that should be plenty. Like you'd walk in here, the wall would be, would be here. All of this would just not exist. Cause this looks like a hall. 
Uh, obviously, I've got some old data packs that are not working, but I feel like all of that, like the table and stuff could go here. Uh, an island in the kitchen could go there. Still a very big kitchen. It's it's a very big farmhouse, but I feel like we could probably do do with having some decorations and then getting rid of the fact that it's got these massive rooms upstairs. When these are bigger than some of the rooms in the keep, like some of the rooms in the top of the keep are not this big. So uh, I feel like we maybe need to scale this back. And uh, it's unfortunate because the roof is really cool. So we'll see. Uh, I don't want to move the kitchen. I, I feel like I really like this. So I think what's going to happen is this section here uh, will end up being cut down a bit. And I don't think I don't think I'm going to make it any shorter. It is a little tall, but it's on the hill. I don't know. I mean, it'll be easier if I only take out a section. That way I don't have to rebuild the whole thing. And I do like if we keep this section, then we keep the back door. Which I like. Oh, that was a berry bush. Yeah, so like it would cut off right here. The only problem with that is that I really like this. So maybe what ends up happening is we take... We take this away and then we move this all the way over. Uh, we will probably not keep the chimney. I don't think the chimney is all that important from the views coming in. I think I would rather have the smoke coming out of the other chimney. So yeah, that's the plan. And then I mean, this wall hasn't been finished. I just realized this now. That's not done. Wow. There's always something, folks. Yeah, there's always something. Yeah, I like the roof too. That's why I don't want to get rid of it entirely. Um, just this section of it. Like, I, I think we'll keep this. Uh, and maybe it's a good lesson in, like, not destroying the whole thing and not, not changing the height, even though I feel like the height does feel a little overwhelming. I feel like we could probably do better. I think the other thing is that if we change... If we get rid of this section with all the dark on it, I think what will happen here, one of the reasons this looks so imposing is because of this dark oak on the outside. And I'm kind of thinking that we can, um, if we do the dark oak on the outside and keep it, then we should bring that down here and along here and on this part as well. So that this would have dark oak. So this would feel less like an added on section. It would all feel like it was all made at the same time. Cool. Well, uh, because we've basically wrapped up everything but the inside here on the lilac farm, uh, that's where I'm going to wrap up the stream for today. I'm really, really happy with the way that this came out. It is such a fun, fun build. Lots of color, lots of different textures, and uh, lots of... Um, contrast between the dark walls and the lighter colors and the brighter colors that we used really happy with the pink petal decorations uh little touches like these sunken bushes and flower beds and things also we've got you know little bits of life with like the wood pile and i think there's another wood pile back here somewhere yeah like little stuff like that super super cool quite happy with all of it uh, I'm going to pass you guys along to Megibyte, who is a delightful streamer. I think you will very much enjoy their content, uh, and you'll have a good afternoon with them. I'll be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours for folks overseas or internationally. And uh, we will be back here in Minecraft, probably doing the interior finishes that I was just talking about uh, inside of the farmhouse here. So it'll be a pretty straightforward uh, afternoon of doing some micro builds and some adjusting and stuff in here and then we'll be able to check this off and say done which is going to be exciting because then we have to figure out what we're doing next uh, you can of course follow me here on twitch follow me on instagram and twitter it's all joel duggan very easy to find uh, check out things like the citadel cafe podcast and the spawn chunks podcasts they are both free uh, they happen to update regularly the spawn chunks is weekly 
Uh, we, we've not missed a week in a very, very long time. So check that out for your Minecraft news. We have a new snapshot and uh, new piston sounds to talk about this week coming. So that's going to be fun. And uh, you can check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support me, uh, support your favorite creators on Patreon. They usually have one. It is uh, really beneficial to us and it's uh, very affordable. It's only $2 a month, which is less than the price of a cup of coffee and uh, keeps me streaming. And I very much appreciate everyone in the chat today. Thanks so much to Cosmic for the moderation. Thanks to all the regulars for the bits, for the donations, for the gift subs. If you received a gift sub, please join the Discord. I think you'll have a very good time. And uh, you'll have access to the Discord for the entire month. Uh, once the Twitch sub runs out, you'll have the option to continue. And you can continue uh, with Patreon if you want. You can just let the Twitch sub die and then join at a cheaper uh, method with Patreon if that's the way that you want to move forward. But uh, all of it is something that I very much appreciate. You guys are the reason I get to do this. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a lovely time with, with Megabyte. I will see you later. Bye for now.